friends. Talofa, welcome to American Samoa. Now on this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about things to know before you travel to the beautiful island of American Samoa. Lots to see and do. Number 12. Here in American Samoa, there are so many beautiful beaches. Some are public, like the one I'm on right now, and you're welcome to relax, do anything you want. However, there are several communal-owned beaches in your villages, which again, you can go on to. Just have the courtesy to please ask one of the locals if it's okay to go play on the beach or take pictures. Number 11. American Samoa is one of five U.S. territories. So if you are a U.S. citizen or a naturalized citizen, you do not have to have a passport. Of course, you always can have one. Just make sure that you bring your birth certificate, a certified copy, or a certified copy of your naturalization certificate, and a government-issued ID. You also need to, about three to four weeks before traveling here, go online and get your Tolofa pass. That just gets you clearance to come. They send you a QR code, and then you get a letter from the Attorney General. Number 10. Another great tip for traveling the island of American Samoa is, is bring cash. A little bit more than you normally would for the family vacation. Now there is ATMs on the island, okay? But a lot of these villages, they don't have credit card or debit services available. And a lot of the small stores, they want like a $20, $10 minimum to use a debit card and stuff so cash always is king here u.s cash and also if you are coming maybe from asia or another part of the world though i have seen a money exchange on the island on the i believe east side of pongo pongo bay number nine when coming to american samoa there is only one cellular service that works here Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T do not work. You need to go with Blue Sky Mobile. Easy to find, easy to get. What we did is we made sure that our family had the phone number to the hotel we were staying at. And then after we hooked up with Blue Sky, we contacted our family and gave them our new American Samoa phone numbers. Number eight. The weather in American Samoa. It's beautiful. Like any other tropical island we travel to, it rains, it's sunny, it rains, and it's sunny. It does that a little bit more on American Samoa, but I mean, it's gorgeous right here. I mean, without rain, can't have paradise. Number seven. So probably what everyone wants to know is, is we're down here south of the equator, down in the South Pacific. What is the water temperature like? Answer, absolutely beautiful. Just as beautiful as Hawaii, the Caribbean, and other islands we travel to. Beautiful blue, aqua blue waters to swim in, clear. You also have beautiful white sand beaches underneath your feet. Yes, this is paradise. Number six. when you're traveling around American Samoa there are dogs everywhere just kind of running around most of them are very friendly some might be a little skittish but the only time you'll see a dog kind of chasing your car is literally when you're in a car and they're coming off of private property other than that they are so sweet number five Probably one of the most important things to realize about American Samoa, family comes first. They are completely about their families and they spend a lot of time with them. 
This is especially true on Sundays. They go to church, they play games, they cook together, everybody gathers together and has a great time. You will still find some businesses open, but for the most part, most everything shuts down on Sundays and holidays, but it's open all the rest of the time. Number four. Transportation on the island of American Samoa. Now, they have probably some of the best transportation, public transportation, of any island we have been to. They have buses, they have taxis, they have shuttles, and then a lot of stuff, too, was within walking. They also have rental cars. So, like, when you're going around the island and stuff, and you want to go to a Pacific, Pacific village, okay, look above the bus, okay? It'll have the village name on it you know that that bus is going to go to that village. So, I mean, it's it costs right now, we heard, it's about a dollar to take the bus, maybe two dollars per person. Number three. Sports in American Samoa. Hands down, football is their favorite sport. You see it everywhere. 49er fans, Raider fans, Rams fans, Buccaneer fans, I could keep going on, Bronco fans, like myself. Anyways, though, football is their favorite sport. And if you notice, in the NFL, though, they put more kids from this island in college football and in the NFL than anywhere in the United States. Number two. Speed limits on the island. Like a lot of other islands we've traveled to, speed limits are low. I think about the highest I've seen on the island is around 25 miles an hour. But believe it or not, it actually saves quite a bit of gas and you get where you're going just in plenty of time. There's really not that big of an issue with it. And some of these roads, <laughs> you question you can do 25 miles an hour on. The people of American Samoa are very reserved. Keep this in mind when you are in town. When you're on the beaches, you are more than welcome to wear your bikinis. Just make sure that you cover back up with a rash or a lava lava or something before you go back into town. <laughs> 